Auzubillahiminashaitanirajim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim And it's Surah Maida verse number 27 Allah says And recite to them O Muhammad peace be upon him The story of Adam's two sons In truth When they both offered a sacrifice to Allah And it was accepted from one of them But was not accepted from the other Said the latter I will surely kill you So accepting the sacrifice or not is not the work of the person, right? It's the work of Allah. So Allah didn't accept the sacrifice and he's saying that I will kill you. Why was your sacrifice accepted? So then what did the former say? The one whose sacrifice was accepted. What did he say? He said, it's not my fault that your sacrifice was not accepted. Indeed, Allah only accepts from the righteous, from the pious person who fears Allah. So this is the formula that Quran has given us that Allah accepts sacrifice, Allah accepts good deeds of a person only if the person is righteous, is a pious, is muttaqi. And there are many hadiths of Al-Bayt that they say haram does not increase and if it increases, it does not have blessings. So what does blessings, barqat means? Since we are focused on worldly things, so... We think that barakat only means blessings in this world. Whereas in the words of religion, barakat refers to the wealth that fulfills your needs in this world. And you spend that wealth in such a way that even in the hereafter, that wealth will come forward as your reward. So what does the hadith say? It says haram does not increase and if it increases, it does not have barakat. And if a person spends that wealth on a good deed then that deed is not accepted and if he leaves behind that haram wealth and dies then that wealth becomes the reason of his going to hell on the resurrection day so why is there so much emphasis on haram halal because those who eat haram can never be with prophets our prophet peace be upon him his holy progeny they can never be with them that is why Imam Hussein on the day of Ashura, he said to the army of Yazid that you are not listening to me because of course your stomachs are full of haram and your hearts are sealed. So that's why Allah wants you to adopt taqwa and become muttaqi and then he will accept your good deeds.